my treatment options. When you hear the word asbestos, I think of like commercials, like if you or your loved ones has been exposed to asbestos and you you died, I'm like, oh my god, that's terrible. Or maybe this, like in a house, it's like, ugh. it's like shut down forever if there's asbestos in a house. You don't usually think of makeup. So there's asbestos in some of these products. Yeah. I talked with Danny Katz with U.S. Perg, a consumer watchdog group. They tested more than a dozen makeup products and found high levels of asbestos in three. They're all sold at Claire's, a store with products aimed toward girls and young women. It's completely unacceptable to have asbestos in these products. You know, asbestos, if you inhale it or ingest it, uh, it can lead to lung cancer, it can lead to mesothelioma, which is a cancer in the internal organs. And if you apply it over skin over time, it can also increase the risk of skin cancer. Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral that can be found in talc, a common product in many makeup products. But Kat says it's a company's responsibility to make sure the talc it uses hasn't been contaminated. We need Claire's to remove these products from the shelves, and we need them to figure out how asbestos got in their products to begin with. It's not the first time Claire's has come under scrutiny for this. Just four months ago, Claire's pulled some items after independent lab tests found evidence of asbestos, then said its own initial testing found no problems. Regarding these latest allegations, Claire's said in part, we want to assure our customers that all of our products are safe and asbestos free. Claire's categorically denies that the testing by STAT relied upon by PERG is accurate. The statement calls the testing methods obsolete and unreliable. But Kat says things shouldn't stop there. We need Congress and the uh, Food and Drug Administration to take action. We need to ban asbestos from beauty care <laughs> products and makeups. Right now, Katz and U.S. Perg are urging us to avoid products with talc until federal laws change. I'm Kumasi Aaron reporting.